Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 50 of Let's FIFA 13. It's some sort of a milestone, so we'll have a special episode out today. You can see it's somewhat longer, so you might want to pause the video, grab a snack or something, and then sit back, relax, and enjoy the next 18 minutes of gameplay. So um, the way it's going down is if, if I win a game, I'll go out and pick up one of the remaining 5-star players I need, and I'll do it. All, uh, I'll keep on playing until I get that uh, final 5-star player I need. So I need 8 more, so... Eight Eight games I need to win in order to to finish off this episode and also um, if I win a game I'll open one gold pack and if I score a goal including a skill move I'll open three packs so that's basically how it goes down and if I lose nothing will happen so into the first game here my opponent uh, gets a goal there his only shot on goal in the first half so it was a little bit frustrating and uh, in the second half I had a bit of a difficult time bringing him down so they ends up being a uh, Quite simple goal there to make it 2-1 and that is how the game ends. So I'll go out and open up um, my first pack here. We open up uh, the 7.5k packs and I decided to, to pick up a few FIFA points. And you know I usually don't open packs because... I just feel it kind of a waste of coins, money, and uh, as you can see in the two first packs, I don't really get anything good. I get a squad morale, squad fitness, and I'll list that up, but no good players. Of course, looking for, for some of the Serie A uh, team of the season players, and in the third pack, nothing to... to really talk about there and uh, then we go out and pick up uh, one of the five star players which will be Carlos Eduardo I used him in the first season but haven't really gotten around to use him in this season and then we go on in into the gold cup here after having played this Serie A tournament just before and uh, we come up against a quite a solid squad there and he gets the game start with an over the top ball to s -Wine, and he will make it 1-0 and at that point in time I had had most uh, of the play on his half of the pitch I was a little bit annoyed that he got Got that a uh, break through with the over the top ball, but Slatan gets through here. But the shot is not on target, and it's still one nil. But in the 33rd minute, Slatan once again on the ball. We we'll pick up a corner, and straight from that, we'll find Kabul who makes it one one off a header. So it's all even, and then we go into the second half. It's Menes on the ball. A few skill moves here to find Slatan, and he makes it a two one. Gets me into the lead, but just one minute after, I couldn't get on the right side of uh, S Wine, and he uh, yeah could catch up with him and he makes it 2-2 on another through ball there and straight from kickoff I'll try and get it back into the lead pass it out on the wing here and back to Slatan who will uh, make his way in between the two defenders here and in the end we get a shot in but it is blocked there by his defender and then 84th minute he gets the goal to make it 3-2 but I will of course not give up and in the 19th minute who knows I get very lucky to pick the ball up here after the shot and Slatan gets his second goal off the game and makes it a 3-3 and then into extra time we go and as you can see he had a lot of players back and it was very difficult to find a bit of space but to wrap here with the scoop turn breaking through to win me the game in the 120th minute so yeah another win there and that means we can go out and pick up a few more packs and as you can see on the shots we both had a lot of shots from distance and not much happening inside the box so yeah in the first pack there I pick up a few contracts I list up the fitness items but apart from that nothing special and in the next pack we get a Muriel there we'll list him up and uh, yeah and a few more contracts can always use those and in the final pack yeah no informs or team of the season players there another squad Muriel I'll save those up for future squads and uh, then we pick up a Ganso one of the players I haven't really used due to his pace and there's just a lot better options than him but we'll probably have to to get around him and build a squad around him as well but into the next game we come up against a silver side there and he was a very very good opponent I had a hard time bringing him down and it's off a corner that I get my first goal and he he had a he, he did a really good job defending my skill moves like I, I tried to, to get past him, but I just couldn't create any chances whatsoever. So it's actually off another corner that I get my, my second goal. So I wasn't really proud of those goals, but I win the game. And he did actually also use skill moves. And when you look at the shots, I had a, a few shots, but they were not really any good shots to, to challenge the keeper, apart from my headers from the corners. So yeah, we win the game there, but no skill goals. So we'll only open up one pack. We get a 4 1 2 1 2 per, per, uh, formation modifier, which is not too bad. And then we pick up Diego Souza. Uh, Susan, not quite sure if I pronounced it right, but yeah. This is one of the players I'd like to try out because he's really, really strong. And he might be a little bit similar to Jaja, so he might be in one of the, the squads I soon build. But if we go into the final of the Serie A tournament, we come up against a 5 at the back and his 2 center mids being defensive-minded. So when he scored that goal in the... 
in the second half it really frustrated me because he was so difficult to break down but I will get back here with Rubinho but in the 74th minute his second shot on target he makes it 2-1 and I lose the final really really frustrating because I just I couldn't break him down and uh, yeah I yeah, I didn't get any good shots in on goal apart from the one that hit the post and then my first goal there. So really, really frustrating that he got those two goals and I lose the final. And then I'll go into the start over in the tournament. We come up against a very, very pacey Syria A side there. I guess my get my first chance here with Lamela going past the defender and look at that shot into the far corner to make it 1-0. But he gets back there with uh, Biad Biani and it's 1-1 at halftime. And yeah, not much happening in that game. It was really difficult to break him down. Down. But into the second half, or well, into the first half of extra time there, he makes it a 2-1, and yeah, he started passing it around the back, and I went ultra-attacking, and then he saw his chance to, to go on the counter-attack, not me really being... I just rushed forward because I was really frustrated about training and it was really difficult to break down his squad and he makes it a 3-1 and that was pretty much game over. I will get a goal back here with Dina Tale but after that I wouldn't really touch the ball for the rest of the game and that means I lose another game in the Serie A tournament. Two losses in a row, wasn't too happy about that and then I went into the Gold Cup to see if uh, it would go a little bit better there and we come up against a very, very strong uh, BPL squad there with a lot of team of the season players and he gets the first goal there with Suarez to make it 1-0 but to wrap down the ball picks up uh, a penalty here in the 33rd minute and uh, we will have Ibrahimovic stepping up for that to make it 1-1 we get that equalizer and uh, just before half time we find a man is completely open a little ball will drag back and we make it 2-1 back into the lead but in the 19th minute he takes a shot with Gerard uh, from distance and he makes it 2-2 and another 19th Minutes go minute goal to make it 3-2 three, three to him and at this point in time when I was playing the games I was raging really really bad because um, I lost three games in a row and I I would like to get good ca gameplay for these episodes so yeah I was really really angry at that point in time especially after having lost to two 90th minute goals so I went into the next game uh, the uh, next day uh, like today because I I just I sw turned the Xbox off and uh, completely forgot about FIFA, got back onto it today and it will go a whole lot better. We scored a nice goal there just before and we keep on creating chances and off the corner we will uh, make it 2-0, get a comfortable lead and we continue on. It's to wrap on the ball here with a few skill moves and we get a shot and will build, build hander and a header but it is saved twice there by the keeper and then he gets a goal back and Maciechi not looking too good in the goal but 66 minute Ibrahimovic on the ball, we pick up another penalty and he will of course step up for that himself and convert it to make it a 3-1 and that is how the game ends I finally get a win after having lost those three games and I can promise you that the next games they will look a whole lot better so yeah we go out and open up a few packs there nothing good really in them we get a bunch of contracts there three rare contracts no rare players and I of course rather have a rare player see if I can pick up uh, the team of the season players but yeah another squad morale and then uh, we go on and pick up Carlos Alberto another five star skill we are missing and then we head on into the Serie A tournament once again to see if it will go us somewhat better and we come up against a very very fast squad again with a it seems like yeah, Ogibona, Kilini and Abate is the usual defenders people use in this tournament and they are really difficult to break down but I get a penalty here and uh, Balotelli will make it 1-0 and we get another chance here in the 73rd minute with Di Rossi but it is saved and that's pretty much all that happened in that game very very even on the stats I had a bit more possession but apart from that not much happening and then I went out open up one pack and I got an t a team of the week player not too bad there he's probably only worth discard price but nonetheless not too bad I won't complain and then we go out and pick up Felipe as a center defensive mid and we also pick up Morales to replace Diamante because I just felt Diamante is really good on the set pieces but when you come up against those Serie A defenders, he's just outmuscled and outpaced all the time. So I felt I had to get a bit of pace into the squad uh, to see if it will go a little bit better. And into the next game, I get a lovely goal with Di Natale. And the replay of that was really awesome here. Yeah, very good angle and right into the top corner there to make it 1-0. But he gets back in the 15th minute with Matri there getting through 1-1 it is. And then a few minutes later, Di Natale.
Tyler with a lovely run. We go past the keeper and we pick up a penalty and uh, Balotelli, he will step up for that. That 92 penalty stats is not too bad and we, we make it 2-1 and just a few minutes later, once again, Di Natale on the board picking up another penalty in this game and once again, we have a Balotelli to step up for that and convert it to make it a 3-1 and we were not done there. He makes a big mistake from the goal kick. I go past the keeper and try for a little hocus pocus pass. Ends up being a look away pass uh, just like in the last episode but nonetheless a 4-1 it is. He gets a goal back there to make it 4-2 and straight from my kickoff I'll try and get that fifth goal. It is Lamella on the ball here. As you can see a little bit of containing going on so a little bit difficult to get past him but in the end the McGee spin to go past him. We take the shot but unlucky to hit the post there. So the game ends at 4-2 and I move on through into the next round of the Serie A tournament but before that we can go out and open up a three more packs another squad morale and apart from that nothing good no good players whatsoever and in the final pack uh, we get a Naga Nagatomo I believe it is um, and we'll list him up but really nothing good whatsoever we go and pick up Elton there to get another five star skiller and then we head on into the gold cup we come up against uh, another Serie A squad uh, and I was a little bit afraid because I could like see on the name of his squad it was Serie A and I thought am I going to face uh, Kilini Ogbonna and uh, Abate again but luckily he had a bit of a different Serie A squad and I would get a very nice goal here in the first minutes of the game and then Slatan on the ball picking up yet another penalty in this episode and uh, he steps up for it himself and makes it a 2-0 and we continue on into the second half trying out a shot there hits the bar unlucky and then Slatan using the ball will drag back past the defender to make it a 3-0 uh, he will however get a goal back I couldn't get the ball away here he he takes a shot a bad pass and my defender doing some stupid work there and a 3-1 it is uh, but nonetheless I would still win the game and move on through into the next round which will be the final game of this episode episode but still we open up a few packs here once again we get a Sanya here which is not too bad we'll list him up and make a little bit of profit on him and the final pack we get Howard so yeah no good players whatsoever which of course was a little bit disappointing and then we go pick up a link on there as the the second final uh, five star player we only need one more and that is Lee Trundle but we go into to another game the final game of this episode and we come up against a very solid Premier League squad there with a lot of pace on top but uh, it is Ibrahimovic to get the game started here in the third minute making his way into the box and I thought I was going to get a penalty but I pick it up should probably have passed it across to get the goal because he will get a goal just a few minutes later there to make it uh, to make it 1-0 and then in the 11th minute I get way too much power on that shot so it goes way wide but just a few minutes later once again Slatan on the ball and look at that hocus pocus in between the two defenders a lovely piece of skill move there to make it 1-1 and Slatan everywhere in this game trying out a shot it will hit the post there unlucky and when you look at the halftime stats he only had one shot and that was his goal so I was dominating quite a bit and I continued into the second half a lovely save from his keeper there to deny me the goal but in the 63rd minute Slatan here breaking through uh, making his way into the box he goes with a slight tackle and yet another penalty I don't know it's like fifth or sixth penalty in this episode but Slatsen will convert it and that wins me the game and that means I can go out pick up my final packs and uh, get that a final five star skiller uh, we, we, we list up a few items and then uh, quick sell the remaining ones and we get him beer there I can list him up as well and as you can see the trade pile is about getting full so it's perfect timing here the last pack and the trade pile is getting completely full so yeah, perfect timing as I said, and then we can go out and pick up Lee Trundle there, the 5 star skiller I just don't like on the game, but uh, we, we need him to complete that 5 star skillers list, and here we do have all the 5 star skillers uh, in the game, so I'll just quickly go over those I thought stood out and were really really good, the first one of course being Slatan, my favorite 5 star skiller on the game. He is a truly amazing, 30 games, 40 goals, he is such a good player and definitely worth the coins. Now, um, Ronaldinho, he's a very, very good player as well. I'd say there's better uh, center attacking mid options, you could probably go with Terrapt instead, but still, there's something about Ronaldinho, when, it's, when you score a skill goal with him, there's something special about it and it's always really awesome to pull off skill moves with him. Uh, moving on, we do, have, um, we do have Cristiano Ronaldo on the top, which... Uh, He's a really, really good player on the game, no doubt about that, but um, 
I just don't like him because he changes your opponent's mindset. When you see that 92 rated Ronaldo uh, in your opponent's squad, you think I have to do my best to win. And that's the part I don't like about having him in my squad. Then we have Ribery. He is all right, but I think there's cheaper and better left mid options. Uh, Lamella, he's probably the best right mid now at the moment of 5 star skillers. But beforehand, it was Makidi. Very, very good player. But I think uh, Lamella is a little bit better. Then to wrap, he's probably one of my favorite players as well. He comes probably a second after Ibrahimovic because he got that 5-star weak foot, 5-star skills. Played 27 games with him, 18 goals, and also played a lot of games with his regular card. And yeah, a very, very good player and definitely worth the coins and very, very good if you convert him to a striker. On the bench, we have a bunch of players. Carlos Eduardo out of there. I used him in the first season. He's pretty good, but I think he's way too weak for my liking. Then we have Ganso. I haven't used him, mainly down to his pace. But I'll probably try and build a squad around him. We do have Jetson as well. 15 games and 8 goals. And he's really good at a striker. He's a little bit similar to Terrapt. He got the long shot trade. And he got 4 star weak foot and the 5 star skills. He's not as good as Terrapt. But a very very good player to ground and pick up. Then Asaidi for the left mid. Probably uh, what I would call the, the best budget left mid. You can get a very very good. And he can link nicely up with uh, the Moroccan and Premier League players. So yeah. Very good if you're looking to build a cheap skills squad. Elias good as well but uh, his links are not as good as um, as, as a Edis. Then we have Diego, Diego Souza which is not very fast but he got uh, I believe like 80 strength or more than that and I really would like to try him and see if he got the same role as Jatja which I really do like using. Then we have Rafael Zubis 11 games and 11 goals not too bad but he's just not that good against your really solid center backs uh, Davi Luiz uh, Kalini and stuff like that. Then Carlos Alberto and Phil Lieber haven't used them and as I said I'll try and use these players uh, I just bought in this episode in some squads uh, in the next weeks. And then finally we do have Elgerson. A lot of goals in uh, quite a lot of games but yeah he's a quite good striker but again like Raphael Zubis not that good against uh, your typical center backs. Then uh, for the Silvers here we do have Wally Sun. A very very good player. He's fast and that of course makes him great on the game. And then the 5 star skills. And another player that stood out was a Quincy, very good on the right mid. Difficult to link him up sometimes, but if you can do it, he's an extremely good player and fun to play with. And the final, or oh, second final player that stands out is uh, Acevedo. Very, very fun to play with as well when he like runs up the left mid and uh, goes on to the go on to attack. But he will leave your defense uh, a little bit lacking. So yeah, he, he comes with a price. And finally, we do have a Jaja, a very, very fun player to play with. He is so strong, a little bit similar to uh, Ibrahim, which can muscle his way off the defenders and create quite a few chances. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all for this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, let me know if I should try and play with these uh, full five-star squads. And I'll try maybe in tomorrow's episode, but not too sure. And they are Lee Trundle here as the final five-star skiller I do not like him but might build a run squad around him to see if he works out that way but yeah that's all guys thank you for watching I hope you did enjoy it and uh, I'll have to mow off because it took a lot of effort to make this episode so yeah tomorrow off back on Sunday and that's all thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later